The old house creaked, its wooden floors groaning under the weight of time. Sarah unpacked boxes, each one filled with memories and hopes for a fresh start. Her new room was big, with one window facing the street. The light filtered through the curtains, casting long shadows on the floor, making the room feel both inviting and mysterious. Her roommate, Emily, was already gone, out to buy groceries, she said. The emptiness of the room echoed Sarah's own feelings of uncertainty and excitement. Sarah found Emily a bit strange. There was something about her that didn't quite add up, a mystery that Sarah couldn't put her finger on. Emily always wore long sleeves, even in the heat. It was peculiar, almost as if she was hiding something beneath those layers of fabric. Her smile never reached her eyes. It was a smile that seemed practiced, devoid of genuine warmth or joy. That night, Sarah lay awake. The house groaned, its old bones shifting and settling. Every creak and moan seemed amplified in the silence. She heard whispers, soft and low, coming from Emily's room. They were indistinct, like the murmurs of a distant conversation. Fear tightened in Sarah's chest. She felt a chill run down her spine, her heart pounding in her ears. She told herself it was just the old house settling, but deep down she knew there was something more, something she couldn't quite explain. The next morning, Sarah asked Emily about the whispers. Emily just smiled sadly. It's the wind, she said. This house is known to be temperamental. But the whispers continued. Every night, the same soft murmurs right outside Sarah's door. Sometimes she thought she heard her name. One night, Sarah woke to a cold hand on her arm. She sat up, heart pounding. The room was empty. The window was wide open, icy wind swirling the curtains. Days passed, each one stranger than the last. Sarah's coffee would turn ice cold moments after she poured it. Lights flickered, objects moved on their own. Sarah tried to rationalize it all, old wiring, drafts, her imagination. But deep down, a seed of fear bloomed. One evening, Sarah found Emily staring at an old photograph. The woman in the picture had the same sad eyes, the same melancholic smile. My grandmother, Emily said, her voice barely a whisper. She died in this house. That night, the whispers were louder, more insistent. Driven by a strange compulsion, Sarah crept to the attic door. It was locked. The next morning, the photograph of Emily's grandmother was gone. When Sarah asked about it, Emily just shook her head. It's probably for the best, she murmured. Sarah couldn't shake the feeling that Emily was hiding something. The whispers, the cold, the strange occurrences, they all pointed to something sinister. Wow. Taptation 5, Will. The truth in the attic. This is where the secrets of the past come to light, where shadows hold stories untold. One quiet afternoon, while Emily was out running errands, Sarah, driven by curiosity, decided to explore the attic. She had always felt a strange pull towards it, as if it was calling her. As she rummaged through the clutter, she stumbled upon an old rusty key hidden behind a loose brick in the wall. It seemed out of place, almost as if it was waiting to be found. With trembling hands, she took the key and approached the attic door. To her surprise, it fit perfectly into the lock, turning with a satisfying click. The attic was dark and dusty, filled with cobwebs and forgotten things. Old furniture, trunks and boxes were scattered around, each holding a piece of history. As Sarah's eyes adjusted to the dim light, she noticed something on the far wall. Moving closer, she saw a name etched into the wood, Emily. The sight sent chills down her spine. Below the name, a date was inscribed, 1904. It was the same year as the old photograph she had seen earlier. Suddenly, everything clicked into place. The whispers she had been hearing weren't just figments of her imagination. They were pleas for help, echoes from the past, begging to be heard and understood. Sarah realized she had uncovered a long forgotten secret, one that had been waiting for someone to listen. Section six, living with the ghost. Emily was the ghost. She had been a part of the house for as long as anyone could remember, a silent presence that lingered in the shadows. 
Sarah felt a chill run down her spine as she realized the truth. The pieces of the puzzle were finally coming together and the realization hit her like a cold wave. All the strange occurrences, the cold, the whispers, it all made sense now. The flickering lights, the sudden drops in temperature, the eerie whispers that seemed to come from nowhere. But instead of fear, Sarah felt a strange sense of sadness for Emily. She couldn't imagine the loneliness and sorrow Emily must have felt, trapped in this house for eternity. Trapped in the house where she died, unable to move on. Emily's spirit was bound to this place, a prisoner of her own past. When Emily returned, Sarah didn't say anything. She simply sat there, feeling the weight of Emily's presence beside her. She couldn't bring herself to tell Emily that she knew her secret. The words caught in her throat, and she remained silent, respecting the unspoken bond they shared. They continued living together, an unspoken understanding passing between them. Sarah learned to coexist with Emily, finding a strange comfort in her ghostly presence. They shared the same space, two souls bound by the walls of the haunted house, each finding solace in the other's company. Section 7. An Unexpected Visitor One day, a package arrived for Emily. It was a letter and another photograph. The letter was from a historical society. They were researching the house and had found Emily's name. The photograph was of a young woman who looked exactly like Emily, standing on the steps of the house. But there was something different about her eyes. They weren't filled with sadness, but with a mischievous glint. Section 8. The Chilling Realization As Emily read the letter, a slow smile spread across her face. It wasn't the same melancholic smile Sarah was used to. This smile was different. It was cold, predatory. It seems, Emily said, her voice a soft, chilling whisper. They've mistaken me for my twin sister. Sarah's blood ran cold. She had been living with the wrong ghost. 